My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this. The Wooden Boat Experience. I'm not sure how to describe the feeling of pushing hard on a project like this boat shed when you finally are in it peel back the old canvas tarp, start up the heat gun, and scrape the first curl of old paint off the mahogany transom. I just barely finished shrinking the plastic on the front of the shed and pulling the boat in on Sunday, hours before the freezing rain began in earnest. So much left to do before it is done, if ever, but the Chris Craft is in and the weather is out. Well, this cover sure was on a lot longer than I thought it would be when I first put it on. But we're finally getting it off, at least part of it. And we'll do a full inspection in a couple days. But right now, I just want to get back to work. A sheetrock screw below the waterline, mild steel. Brilliant. So we're gonna be removing this piece right here on the back deck and um, replacing it with something that we can finish bright. This is just a piece of plywood, probably marine, but meant to be painted. And I want this area finished bright. So this area is obviously separated, causing it to need all this filler. Not quite sure what that stuff is. It's either separated or it's just a really badly cut piece of plywood with more sheetrock screws here. So this looks like an area we might have to deal with because it doesn't tie in very well right here. You can, you can actually separate it with your hand. And they had just a little L bracket here, but we got to do better than that. Maybe put a piece of board underneath here and uh, kind of fish plated underneath. So last night I got the transom sanded off quickly with 80 grit just to try to figure out what the problems are and I've marked a few of them. So you can see right here we've got just a little spot with some rot. It goes in a little bit there. We can clean that up. There's a couple of pieces here that's looks like an old screw spot here. I think that's just a small Dutchman. Maybe only even go down in halfway to get rid of that. Right here is a big problem. This is Bondo. You do not want Bondo on a boat. That's made for repairing cars. We've got it down through here and here. We go down across the bottom. This area here looks suspect around where the exhaust was coming out. If you poke it, it's obviously not the greatest. That goes right in, So, but we'll have to figure that out when we go inside. Here is obviously a place where it's rotted out, but that's probably just a Dutchman there, depending on what we see inside. This is 4200, I believe. You can see how it's kind of rubbery. And this is Bondo again. This we don't want. Here's where the two sheetrock screws were added in for some reason, but we won't know about that until we get inside. And we've got a couple little spots down here that don't seem too bad. But again, we need to look inside. Other than that, the transom, it's not too bad. Well, let's look inside and see what we see. Okay, so inside's telling us another story. So this is where the sheetrock screws were. 
Here's a piece of plywood that's kind of shoring up something I'm sure that's not going to be too good. Right here, this is obviously really bad. This is right where that support board comes down, probably traps a lot of water. And the white oak below it seems, oh yeah, that's got some rot in it too. So that is probably going to be, need to be replaced on this side. Still seems pretty good and up there. And then over here, obvious rot right there. But it's good when you go up a little bit. So we're going to need to replace probably this whole board. And we'll see once we get under here. If we replace the whole thing or Dutchman just part of it. Probably replace the whole board. I took this opportunity to get some of the mechanicals out of the way to make this whole area easier to work on. So now we can see what this piece of plywood was hiding. Some pretty serious rot. On the bottom board mostly, we've got some here. But we can Dutchman in this little section right here. Most of the rot seems to be confined below this line. So we will replace this bottom board in the transom, which is going to be painted because it's underneath the water line. And this section is cracked. So we're going to replace this board here. We're going to uh, replace at least a section of that one. The bottom of this one over here. This one looks good. So more Bondo. Boy, this guy loved Bondo. We're also going to replace this and these two um, ink corner pieces right here. So while we're doing this, we'll get this whole thing done at once. That board is here. Get this cushion out of the way. That one is here. We may be able to use that. It's missing over here, but there's a lot of work we gotta do. This doesn't seem to be attached in here. We've gotta make this whole thing stronger, but we've got a good start on working on this section. And finally yesterday, I pulled the port half of the transom out. And so that's what I got done this week on the Chris Craft. This will become our pattern, especially down here. These cute little cuts here that we have to match. Back in episode 13, we met with Aziel Snyder at Neely's Boat Shop. I took some time to visit him in his dad's new shop. Here he is, peeling the varnish off the deck of a 1966 25 foot Lyman sleeper. Inside the beautiful 40 by 60 metal building was quite a lineup of boats. The 24 foot Hutchinson next to the Lyman, Aziel's Sea Skiff fishing charter boat, a 26 foot 1956, and this little gem of a shepherd, a 1948 22 footer that Aziel just acquired. Oh, that is a cute little boat. Interesting seating arrangement too. These oh, it's still got built, the original steering wheel and Andy everything. Ray built these seats. These are these back ones right here for the boat. And then he might have even put the pedestal ones on. I don't know if that's original. Oh yeah. I didn't notice there was pedestal till you said that. <laughs> yeah. So what's this got for a motor? Uh it's got an old So this boat hadn't been, this, it was in a boat house when I went and uh, looked at it. It hadn't been in the water and um, hadn't been in the water in probably 10 years. The cut water is really sweet. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And the painted on letters, numbers. Yeah, somebody knew what they were doing. If you get a chance, check out our Patreon page where you can help support the Wooden Boat Experience, check out some bonus footage, and maybe get some cool merchandise. Thanks, and that's it for this week from the Wooden Boat Experience.